What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video that we're going to be doing here where we're talking about the contract renewal. So a lot of people have been asking me about this, especially players that would have downloaded the game before, maybe a long time ago, and haven't really been playing it as active, right? And there's also players that have been playing it for a long time that are running into this issue as well. So you will see here that we're just trying to play a match, you know, on a Saturday, trying to play some Spanish league to get some coins for the reward. And it will say your game plan contains players with an expired contract. So you'll see the little exclamation mark down in the game plan and boom, when we go in here, you will see that these players have been with my club for the last 365 days. So that means that a full year has passed since I first signed these players. So you've got Inzaghi, Nakata, Munain, Puyol. So we can't actually play with these players because they're out of contract. They don't have a contract at all. So when we go back here to our actual team and look at these players, we have it sorted by a first sign-in. So you see Inzaghi, Nakata, Puyol, Munain, Corona. All of these guys will have a little X beside them, a little icon to say that they are not under contract, which means that they are not elig eligible to play for Big Lads FC, right? So when we go in here, we'll take a quick little look here under the card. In the player information, you will see duration of contract has contract expired, right? Now, I know I'm going very slow on this, but I do get a lot of questions about this, especially in the live streams. So when we go back here, we're going to take a look at other players that we have signed that are not out of contract, but that are, you know, close to these guys with X's. So you'll see Wijnaldum here. He's only got two days left on his contract, right? So this means that I would have signed him two days after um, the rest of the boys that are out of contract. And Pedre would have signed him four days. So exactly 361 days ago, I would have signed Pedri and Maradona. They would have been the guys that I got when I was opening packs or I got them as a free legend or whatever. Uh, PK, any of these guys that you see here, they will all be that way. So when we take a look at the new players that have joined my squad, these are all the players that have joined in the last couple of days. Tommy Yasu, we signed him about 10 days ago, you know, so we've, he's got 353 days left on his contract now that is real life days it's not matches it's not done on a match to match basis it's you know like fifa used to do it it's done on an actual in real life game so if you play 50 games with patrick vieira it only counts as one day on his contract vieira now we have given him a new contract so we're going to show you how to do that we're going to show you how to get contracts and we're going to show you what it might mean for eFootball 2024 so when we go down here to contract renewal it will say that when you've got a player that's under contract you can't double dip and you can't add on to that and stack the contracts so you need to have an invalid contract or a contract that has expired. This is another thing that people are asking. It doesn't matter if you've got one hour left on the contract, you cannot give him a new contract until he is expired completely. I know it's a bit silly, but that is it. So when we go into Puyol here and try to give him a contract, we get a brand new screen. And this contract renewal screen is going to be all our contracts that we have in the club. So you will see that we have got a 60-day contract and a 10-day contract. And they are the amount of contracts we have in the actual inventory in our club. So we've got seven 60 days and we've got 14 10 days. So that means that if I give Puyol a 60 day contract, we can give him one 60 day and then he'll have 60 days of game play with that. So it'll be two months of gameplay. So there's three ways of getting these contracts, lads, that they've kind of switched around, okay? If you haven't played the game in a while or you're a newcomer, the first one is on the free match pass. So this regular match pass is free. It's unlocked by default. You don't get any chance or any choice in the matter. It's just going to be earning as you play games, right? You get two 10-day contracts in that, and that's it. The rest of the contracts are going to be in the premium one here as well. You've got another three 10-day ones there as well. So that gives you a total of 50 if you get the premium, okay? The other step is to go into the shop. And this is something that they're going to have to look at, man, because there is only one option in the shop, in the eFootball Points item shop, and that is a 60-day contract renewal for a whopping 25,000 eFootball Points. Now, that's five players that you could buy for the same price. So I do think that they need to balance the contract renewal um, because it's going to be an issue. So when we go back out here to Inzaghi, if we want to give Inzaghi a contract, you will see that we've got seven 60-day ones and we've got 13 10-day uh, ones, okay? You can give him a maximum of seven 10-day ones or else you can give him one 60-day one by itself. You can't stack any more than that. You can't give him a 60 and a 60. You can't give him a 10 and a 60. You can give him six 10s or 160. So that's it. It's a maximum of a two-month or a 60-day contract. 
Now, the other thing we will take a look at in a second is when we're releasing players. Now, this is the third way of getting um, your actual contracts, right? This is something that they brought in that a lot of people don't actually really know about, but it is with the new update that they brought in with V2.5. So you will see here that I've got a lot of special base players, okay? A lot of players that are either going to have shiny cards or different versions of the cards, right? But when we release somebody like Otavio here, he is not a five-star player. He's a three-star player. Even though he's a special, shiny, featured version of the card, uh, Kalhangalu is not going to be a three-star. He's going to be a five-star, right? So his contract is expired, but he's a five-star. So you will see a new pop-up here, which will say that you will receive GP, yes. 10,000 trainer programs, yes. We get that with every card, depending on the GP, the value of the card. But we also have in the middle a contract renewal of a 10-day. So when we release him, we're going to get a five a star contract which is a 10 star con 10 day contract so the best way to do this is right if you've got a lot of dead driftwood in your actual squad go in filter it by player value filter it by five star and then go through your club right you probably have if you've been playing the game for a while you probably have a lot of players that you never use that are five stars um players that you never use you know player of the week any of those guys right it cannot be standard players if you've trained a card up to a five star or it's a standard version of the car such as pedri here it's irrelevant. It doesn't matter. If we try to release this standard version of Pedri, you won't get that pop-up with the contract renewal. You will still get your GP and your trainer XP, but you will not get it for standard five-star. It has to be shiny or featured or legendary or epic or whatever you want to call them. It has to be one of those. So if we go into Salah, Salah is from a five-star, but he's also a special version of the card. He is a five-star and he's from one of the packs that released way back when. If we release him, we're going to get 130,000 GP, our 10-day contract renewal, and our 10,000 trainer XP as well. So if we release Salah, that's what we'll get. He's not a five-star standard card. If we were to buy the standard Salah and then release him, even though he's a five-star, we wouldn't get the contract renewal. So that seems to be confusing a lot of people. That's probably the biggest part to take out of this video. So if we release the Pi... He's going to be a five star and we are going to release him. We're going to get our contract renewal. So what I would do is I would just go through players that I know or that you know that you're never going to use, right? You're never going to play with. You're never going to use in your squad. You probably have if you've been playing the game for a while now. You're kind of 25 to 30 players that you rotate in. And then any player that you want to buy, you will probably buy, okay? So we will just release a bit of... A bit of um, a bit of kind of, you know, fodder here just to show you for the video, right? If we go in and try release Davies, he is a standard card that we've trained up to max and he's turned into a five star, but he's not a special version of the card. Whereas with Havertz, even though he's 89 overall, okay, Havertz is 89 overall, Davies is 91, Havertz is going to be a special five star. So he's going to get the uh, contract renewal, Loris is going to get the contract renewal. So if we release the two of these, we're going to get two 10 day contracts which is 20 contracts in total um that you want 20 days of of, of play time right so if we release a couple of these guys here i know that i'm not going to be playing with ramos i know that i'm not going to be playing um you know with the likes of allison i know i'm not going to be playing with the likes of let me see uh jordi alba we'll go click on them that's five players that we've got that's going to be 50 contracts or 10 days of five which is a 50 day contract that we can give to somebody right so that's kind of the other way of doing it that's probably the biggest thing that people don't really um know if they're asking questions so i hope this does help you out a bit now when we go back to our actual contract renewal screen in the player profile when we try to train up van dyke who i had from the very start and we want to give him a new contract renewal you will see that we now have new contracts we've got 14 at the start now we've 20 okay so if this is one last tip to give you as well as right say you have a player that you would have bought way back when and trained him up okay but you don't have any other option to do anything with him you can actually legacy transfer this guy's xp to a new version of the card so we've got a matoma here okay we're going to go buy a matoma on the market which we do here as a standard player he only costs fourteen thousand gp and we are going to transfer our xp that we've already given in to the matoma who's expired into the brand new matoma who's going to have a 364 day contract so we don't need to give a new contract or waste a new contract on our old matoma if you use a lot of standard players we can literally convert it filter everything and then go to our new matoma transfer him towards our old matoma and then we'll be able to use all the points so you will see here that this new matoma that i'm going to get is level one now when we train him up we're going to have 22 levels to go in to progress his player training so that is just another little tip to give you as well as you see there we're going to turn him in from a 73 overall rated player to a 78 overall rated player and that is simply using the xp that we had already given 
to the contract renew or the contract expired version of Matoma that we had a year ago. So that is just another way to use up those if you don't want to transfer and you don't want to give new contract renewals. So that's it, lads. If it helped you out, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.